Hello, YouTubers. I wanted to do another Doppler experiment video because I wanted to better explain how easily it how easily it is to misinterpret sounds coming from the body as a fetal heartbeat. Because the job and the purpose of a Doppler, fetal Doppler, is to amplify every and all sound that's coming from within the body. So if you are, in fact, pregnant, the fetal heartbeat will be amplified by this machine, picked up, and you'll be able to hear the fetal heartbeat. However, if you're not pregnant, it just amplifies every and all sound that's coming from within the body. So using a device such as this is not a reliable tool to use when you are trying to confirm your pregnancy as a viable pregnancy. This a device such as this is only reliable when your pregnancy has already been confirmed by a physical exam and ultrasound um, that you are in fact pregnant so that you know about where to look for a fetal heartbeat. And it's only something that you should use after you've been confirmed pregnant. It's not a reliable tool to use to confirm a pregnancy because it amplifies every and all sound coming from within the body. So if you're not trained in using a, a, something such as this, I would not recommend that you use this to confirm your pregnancy. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and start the experiment. So I'll just turn it on. I already have some gel here. I don't know if you can see it, but I will just turn this on. And we will see that it is... Sorry, let me switch hands here. It's at zero here. Oh, no, it's not. Look, see, just me switching hands. Made it start at 100. Oh, 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 it thinks it could be a heartbeat. Oh, oh, obviously that's not a heartbeat. Oh, but it thinks it could be. Let's see if we can really, look at that. This is, this is how unreliable a tool like this is because something as easy as this, it's trying to register it and trying to show us that this is a heartbeat when it's, it's just sound. This is just sound. It's just rhythmic sound. Look, that's saying a 200. Look at this. It's just sound because it, this purpose of this is to amplify every and all sound coming from within the body. So I'm going to just gently put this right here. I'm not pushing hard. And just to clarify, I am not pregnant. Those are my bowels. My bowels moving around because I did eat only an hour or two ago. And just to let you guys know, your bowels are never quiet. And if your bowels are quiet, then something is wrong. Your bowels are always digesting, always moving, just not super intensely all the time. But there is always some kind of movement and always some kind of gas or air or feces or liquid moving through your bowels. So that's air. To me, it obviously sounds like bowels moving around. I mean, I... I, at, one point in time, at one point in time, I did think that that sound could be a baby, a baby actually swimming away. But the more you learn about how intestines digest, and the more you learn about the digestive system, the more you realize that that sound is actually your bowels. So I'm just going to move this probe here, up here to like where my, these are where my ribs are right here. Up here. I'm 
and I'm just, just lightly putting it on my ribs. kind of picking up my heartbeat. I can kind of hear it in the background. I'm just going to breathe in real deep here. <laughs> See, it thinks that my breaths could be a heartbeat, but it's obviously not a heartbeat. You can hear a heartbeat in the background. A very faint heartbeat. This is still on my ribs here. <laughs> that's not a baby's heartbeat that's me breathing this is an unreliable tool to use to verify a viable pregnancy <laughs> Let's put it right here. <laughs> Me bringing in and out because it amplifies every and all sound coming from the body. And this is obviously my heartbeat because it is slow. Do you see? It says 97, 92, 90, 90. Let's see if I register it. It keeps, trying, it keeps going back up because that's where it knows a baby's heartbeat should be because that's what it's programmed to understand. A baby's heartbeat is in the range of 130 to 160 beats per minute. A Doppler is programmed to find a heartbeat within that range. So it automatically starts at around 120 and tries to find a heartbeat that stays within that range of 120 to 160. Just because you get a reading of 120, 140, 160 does not mean that there's an actual baby inside of your belly. It just means that something in your body, some sound or some movement or something within your body is tricking this into thinking that it could be a heartbeat and it's trying to register it. So I hope this video helps somebody figure out whether or not they are picking up a fetal heartbeat and in determining, um, deciphering between their fetal heartbeat and, or between a fetal heartbeat and their heartbeat, because to the untrained ear, to somebody who's not professionally trained in using a Doppler, this, I mean, it does take several times and a lot of practice to find a fetal heartbeat that you know for sure is a fetal heartbeat. And I suggest that anybody who's just looking or watching this video just for informational purposes to also watch other Doppler videos on how women find their babies because I'm not pregnant. But this just, it just shows you how easily misinterpreted any and all sound can be that comes from the body using this machine, this device. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and be well, have fun. Bye.